I do have to learn to read music. Can't I just watch tutorial videos and just learn to play that way? You know, if they show me what keys to press and for how long. What else do you need to know? Hmm, well... Hi guys, this is Manu from Piano Sight Reading, where I give sight reading tips to pianists. And in this video, I'm attempting to answer the question why I learned to read music. Especially nowadays, I mean, if you go on YouTube, there are so many video tutorials to play just about any piece you like. You could just type Ferrellis or Chopin Nocturne in E flat major or River Flows in You. You get the idea. You have many video tutorials to choose from. So why bother learning to read music? Well, if you have the patience to, you know, watch the video over and over to learn one bar at a time, sure, go ahead. But you know, it's gonna take you a long time. And even then you won't have all the details that you find in a piece of music. The only information you get is what keys to press and for how long. You know, what about other things like dynamics? Like when is it meant to be loud or soft? What about expression? Uh, like how is it meant to be played? So there are all of these little details that you don't really get to know about unless you actually look at a piece of music. Learning to play a new piece with a tutorial video, it's a little bit like driving to a new place with a GPS, right? You get in your car, you turn on your GPS, you just type in the address and off you go. You just listen to the di directions and then you get to your destination. But then if someone were to ask you, oh, how did you get here? You wouldn't have a clue, right? You would need to think back, okay, let's see. So first I think I went straight and then I think I turned right or was it left? And then there was a traffic light somewhere. Like you don't really know, it's all a bit of a blur. Well, you could say this is the same thing when you're learning a piece with a tutorial video, right? You just follow the instructions from the start to the end, but you don't really know what notes you played, the rhythm, you don't know what chords you played. And the only way to play the piece is to always go from the start because that's how you learnt. But that's not a really efficient way of practicing. Say you want to just work on the end, you'd have to go from the start until, to, until you get to that tricky part and then you can try to work that out. That's not a really good use of your time. And then you would keep repeating, you know, this route, uh, you know, from start to finish until it becomes automatic and then you no longer have to think about it. Again, like when you're driving to the same place every day, it just becomes automatic. And then, you know, next thing you know, you've arrived and you have no idea how you got there. That's how it would be if you were just to follow instructions in a video tutorial. So what I'm proposing instead is to learn how to read a map. In other words, to learn how to read a score, how to read music. Because then you know where you are at all times and you can always look back at the map and zoom in on a particular spot. You can see the whole route at a glance and you can see the landmarks. So you have a, an overall view of the place or the music. And then if you just want to focus on one spot, on one landmark, you can just go straight there, work at that bit and then go back, zoom back out and then start again from the, from the start. And if you can read a map, that means you can read other maps, right? So same with music. If you can read music, you can read just about any piece.
So while it might take a bit of time at the start to learn how to read music, once you've learned how to read music, the, the sky is the limit because suddenly you have access to so much music and you don't have to rely on video tutorials and listen at one bar at a time and learn really slowly. You'll be able to learn pieces way faster. And not only that, but you'll be able to say start an, another instrument and you'll still be able to read, provided that you know it's in the same clef, in the treble clef or bass clef. But the but the elements will remain the same, right? Like you'll you'll still be able to read the rhythm, uh, you'll still understand everything. You might just need to learn how to read a new clef. But besides that it will all be the same. So I hope this video has helped you see the benefits in learning music and not just rely on video tutorials. Let me know in the comments what your experience is. Like, Do you normally use video tutorials to learn pieces or do you only use music? I'd love to know what, what your experience is. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Happy sight reading!